I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Dylan Mulvaney was celebrating the fact that Bud Light had sent a special beer can over to her. Of course, she's a TikTok star who has been basically documenting her transition. Now, of course, that simple video led to a little bit of a hissy fit on the right. And I gotta say, some portions of that tantrum are amusing to watch, and we're gonna see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Now. A little more context into what Bud Weiser was doing here. So Mulvaney, who has about 11 million followers on TikTok, recently celebrated the one year anniversary of her Days of Womanhood series, in which she documents the everyday highs and lows of transitioning, okay? That's why Bud Light sent her that special can of beer. Now let's get to the crazy reactions, starting with I think the most unhinged, let's watch. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. Bud Light and Anheuser Bush. Have a terrific day. But I, who paid for that beer, Kid Rock? Did you pay for that beer? You bought the beer just to shoot the beer? Okay. I mean, by the way, Dylan Mulvaney's 26 years old. Like, why are they so up in arms about this? Who cares? I mean, look, I argued before guns don't do, you know, there's not, they don't do anything. They haven't saved lives. But look at that, you know, just mm. he bravely saved us from. The transgenders, I don't like. I just the performativeness is. It's like whenever Republicans have a problem, they just shoot it. Just shoot it. You know what I mean? You don't like climate change? Shoot it. You know, and and it seems funny to me, but then you just obviously this is an automatic weapon. I don't know which one. I'm gonna get added if I say the wrong one, right? Because uh, you don't even know. I don't care. But it looks scary and it kind of looks like a mass shooter weapon, so I might say an AR-15. The point is, is it's a stand-in for her. It's a stand-in for Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah. I know he's trying to go after Bud Light, but you know what that is? In this air, in this moment of massive anti-trans laws and anti-gender affirming care laws passed throughout this country, that's just violence against trans people. And honestly, like this is the whole thing with like, oh, you went woke. No, no, no. Bud Light wants to sell more Bud Light. And I'm sorry exactly. if your commercials from the 90s. Thank you. Yeah, your commercials with like two blonde twins being like, oh yeah, tap the Rockies. I don't know if that was Coors. I don't care. But all of your commercials, they ain't hitting. So you got to go to the TikTok stars. You got to pay them some money, and they're gonna get out to the 10 million, 11 million followers that she has. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. How do they not understand this? Like, by the way, for everyone, doesn't matter what your political leanings are, okay? Stop getting upset or giving credit to corporations yeah. that only do things to maximize profits or to market themselves to, in this case, 11 million people who follow this popular TikToker. That's all this is about, okay? Bud Light is not taking a strong stance, like, woo, so risky, so courageous. No, Bud Light is looking out for their profits. They're looking for different ways to market. And honestly, when you think about the demo for Bud Light, which is, I think, young people, like young people drink Bud Light because Bud Light is awful. Like it tastes like garbage. Yeah, it's it's a step up from urine. Yeah, yeah. A little, maybe, I don't know, we might want to do a taste test. <laughs> Let's do some focus groups to see if that's the case. But no, I mean- <laughs> don't, don't put that on the internet, Anna. <laughs> we, we don't put that out there. <laughs> but my point is, this is beer pong beer, right? This is what college yeah. students are drinking. So it's actually a really smart marketing move from really? Bud Light, especially, I don't know for sure, but I would venture to say that Dylan Mulvaney's audience is young. 
And so it's smart to market this way. That's all this is. But yeah, yeah, you're right. They're trying to stick it to White Claw. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, we didn't angle. Get Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> put her na- put her face on a can. That's so per- it's perfect. It's yeah. easy. And it's a special can that they sent specifically to her, right? So if you're a Bud Light connoisseur and you're also a transphobe, you don't don't worry. You're not going to have to drink out of a, <laughs> a can of beer that has her face on it. Um, we do have some more unhinged reactions. I'm just going to go to some of the tweets. Um, I agree with half of the comment here. Although I don't know if we could even say the first word, so I'm just going to say it's another. It's a synonym for P that was uh, tweeted here. P water masquerading as uh, as beer hires man masquerading as woman. I don't agree with the second half uh. of that, but. Bud Light does taste like pee. <laughs> so anyway, but no, I mean, like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Why? He thinks he's so clever. Oh, he's so clever. I know, someone fed him that, and then he someone DM'd him that joke, and then he tweeted it. No, oh, it's great. Uh, Tim Pool with this clever one: Bud Light is college party beer. Almost no one goes out to a bar to chill and orders Bud Light. It's trash that young people drink to get wasted. And where's the dunk? Like, you know what? Yeah. There, you know what? I respect that. There was no dunk. It was just a factual tweet. It might be one of Tim Pool's only factual tweets. So you're right yeah. about that. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.